10 Stories That Prove True Love Does Exist Skeptics say that love is a myth, but all of their arguments are worth nothing compared to the love stories of real people that we've collected for you. Love helps us cope with hardships, believe in miracles, and strengthens us. These 10 touching stories confirm that true love is a very real thing. The last one really got me. For as long as I can remember, my grandma always had salami in the fridge. When she and my grandpa celebrated their 40th anniversary, she finally told him that she hated salami and only bought it because he liked it. At that moment, my grandpa confessed that he had hated it his entire life and had only eaten it because he didn't want to offend her. My husband went to the office party for the night. The team was young and airy. There were attractive girls. I always trusted him, but I felt a touch of jealousy. When he returned home a little drunk and went to bed, I decided to kiss him. He punched me on the nose. Being asleep, he thought he was still with his co-workers. I'm no longer jealous. My daughter decided to get a scale and went to the store one day. Our salesman wanted to prove that the scale worked correctly, so we stepped on it. My daughter looked down at the scale and said, man, you need to eat more. So she gave him her lunch. And today, they're married. Now you don't argue with a free lunch. I was on a train and there was a couple right next to me, an old man and an old woman. For the entire time, almost three hours, the man was drawing the lady's portrait in his notebook. The woman felt embarrassed that people were looking at them, but he only said, don't be shy, my dear. They are just enjoying your beauty. Fifteen years ago, my grandpa was stupid enough to promise my grandma that as long as he loved her, he would never cut his beard. My grandpa is a very stubborn man and he hasn't cut his beard for 15 years. It grew down to his waist. You could braid it. Granny calls him my beloved stubborn beardy. My mother says my father always used to wait for her to return home from the office at the bus stop. He was afraid that something might happen to her. The bus arrived only twice an hour and he waited for her even if she was late. No matter if it was raining or snowing, he was always there. I asked my husband what love is. He wrote, it's when she has mayo and chocolate stains on her t-shirt when she says she eats only vegetables because she's dieting. And you believe her, because you love this woman. When my mom misses my dad, she takes his cologne and sprays it around the room. And when my dad comes home, he smells the cologne and smiles. I see you've been thinking of me. When I was a little boy, my mother used to ask me only two questions about the girls I liked. What's the color of her eyes? And what's her favorite ice cream flavor? I'm 40 now and my mom is long gone, but I remember so vividly that she had green eyes and liked chocolate chip ice cream, just as my wife does. True love for me doesn't consist of expensive gifts. It's my father, when he helps mom with her bathing, buys her everything she needs, and cleans her shoes daily. He also never forgets to tell her how beautiful she is. Do you think he's a pushover? No, he just loves his wife, 
who has severe spinal troubles. 